Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Driveways. This is a 2019 film that came out in May of 2020 here in the USA and it runs a little under an hour and a half. It stars Hong Chow, Lucas J, Brian Dennehy, and I guess it does not come with a rating. So the description a lonesome boy accompanies his mother on a trip to clean out his late aunt's house and ends up forming an unexpected friendship with the retiree who lives next door. This is Driveways. Well, thank you everybody for watching this video. If you'd like any correspondence with me outside of YouTube, I do have my Facebook page. It's Danny's Movies and Music. I have a lot of bonus content on there, so if you'd like to check that out, I'd appreciate it. Uh, this movie just came to me as peer research that I do at the beginning of the month. I get a whole list together, and this was next on the list. And uh, even though we know Brian Dennehy, and he's older, and he's a good actor, I wasn't really looking forward to this movie. Um, I could kind of tell what it was going to be about and I was hoping it had something of a story because movies like this usually don't. Um, it's just the life and time of some people in the span of a month or two and movies that do this they can be rather boring because they don't really have a point. You know, They're just a story of someone's life, someone's experience within the span of a timeline of you know sometimes it's a day if it's like a romance or it could be like a week if it's you know like a family thing and uh, you know we see ones like from high school graduation that are a couple months for the summer you know uh, but this one you know when it's called driveways and I can tell a lot of correspondence is going to be on people's driveways you know I, I knew they were meaning it literally um, I was like, well, okay, we'll see if it even has a storyline. So the bright spots of this movie are our little boy, Cody, and, of course, the neighbor next door, and the friends that he, the friends that Cody encounters. It's kind of about Cody more than anything. Even though it tries to be about other things, it's really about Cody. And so the two friends that he does make are nice it's a nice part of the movie it's a nice feeling you know for an eight slash nine year old to make friends even though he's in an area not for that long you know it's nice to have some people his own age around and then there's two kids that aren't that nice and that part of the movie is like a little surprising so that's good mixture in there too um the correspondence that Cody and the next door neighbor have it's kind of assumed you know like we go into the movie we know it's going to happen and so when it does it's not like a shock or anything so um, we just kind of have to take it as it goes you know it puts a smile on your face the, the conversation between them can be a little stagnant or I don't know maybe pushed because it has to happen that's like in the description of the movie what's going to happen it feels a little pushed so I would say that by the end of the movie especially with the last conversation that those two have that I wasn't very happy with their friendship because it was feeling so pushed that it almost seemed excessive at the end and felt very uncomfortable this big long speech that the old guy gives so I was like okay we're just gonna ride that off um, the mother in this movie she plays a very fine mother but she does curse uh, very fluidly she doesn't mind drinking she doesn't mind standing up to people and being crass and then she's nice when she has to be and she has to kind of tell people why she's at the house you know um cleaning out you know this person's stuff and has to have those conversations and that seems very real you know i mean if someone you know I mean, my family just did that with a neighbor of my mother um you know we heard she passed so we gave a card to the funeral home i mean that's a normal thing to do so this had a very normal feeling you know people can relate to it people can 
see themselves in it and then they can smile a little bit and then they can you know do whatever so overall i think this is a very middle of the road movie uh with what it has in it with who it has in it and what it's about which isn't much but uh so normally i would give it a c but i actually did feel pretty good about this stuff um there are some nice parts there are some nice things in here between the kids and Cody has a birthday that's kind of nice and um, it just makes you feel good because it's kind of what it's kind of a picture of what it takes to be a good neighbor and a good person and how hard it is in between times. Um, one of the weakest part of the movies that I just didn't care about, I don't think anybody will, is the mother's significant other. There's some conversation between them and it seems really stupid to kind of plug it in there. But uh, otherwise, there aren't many bad things about this movie. So I'm going to give it a C plus, And I hope you're able to seek it out, get an opinion about it. Because movies like this get made all the time. And uh, they're nice to watch, but I don't think it's anybody's favorite. So, But if you feel like giving it a chance, it's Driveways, and I give it a C plus. Thank you, guys. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them to watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.